are the number of numbers which identifies the shape, energy, and orientation of the electrons in the orbit or orbital space, and also the spin of an electron, whether is it moving in the clockwise direction or an anti-clockwise direction. So we know there are four quantum numbers. Let us study about all those in detail. First one is a principal quantum number. It is denoted by the symbol n. Principal quantum number it gives the size and energy of the orbital. So it gives us which electrons are present in a which shell. That is, we have studied in the tenth shell, K shell, L shell, M shell. We have studied about it. So all the idea about it. Yaw shell the level. So that is the matter principal quantum number, and it is denoted by the symbol Y. So we can have the value of Y n equal to one. Okay, if n equal to one, that is what is the K shell. Which is called the K shell. N equal to two shell. It is a L shell, M shell, N shell. So like this, sir, it gives you the which shell the electrons are present. Okay. So N by due to the value of N, we can say the electrons are present in the which shell. And also from this we can find out the energy as the The number of shell is there. N value increases. Energy also increases. Okay. So if electrons are present in the N shell, or N equal to four, it is a more energy compared to the when it is a first shell or second shell or third shell. So energy is directly proportional to the principal quantity. And uh, how many electrons you can have in each shell? Maximum electron. Maximum electron is given by two n square. Means the n value is one, n is one. In case of n value is equal to one, n is one. Then one square is one. One into two is two. In case of n maximum electron is two. What about in the n shell? The number of maximum electron maximum. A state level is nothing but a number of the h shell level maximum electron. It is a maximum electron. Is a indication the n shell is a n equal to two over two two square is a four four into two eight n. Okay, so that idea is this that is called as a principal quantum. Okay, so then second one is a azimuthal quantum. Azimuthal quantum number. It is denoted by the symbol Yen. So we know it is a shell icon. Next it is a subshell. So in which subshell it is a present? So that is given by the this a azimuthal quantity. It is a three-dimensional uh, orientation, three-dimensional uh, movement of a electron, and it is the idea of the subshell. And one of the values you can have L starts from a zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So n values are starts from zero. The n value starts from one, whereas l starts from zero. And it depends upon the n value also. How many n we can have? The l values we can have n to minus one. N minus one value means when n equal to one. What is the value of l? One minus one is zero. So we can have the values. Is the n minus one one n? Okay. So therefore, when you substitute n equal to one, I will get zero. Zero. Yeah, the value is not zero. So yeah, the value is zero, and uh, it's a. Uh, it is called as a s orbital. S orbital. N equal to zero is s orbital. Its the shape is a spherical shape. When uh, n equal to two is done. n equal to 2 is again another n two minus a one is one so it starts from zero so then it is zero and a one one so when n equal to one 
इट इज अल ऑर्बिटल इट्स शेप इज अल शेप एन इक्वल टू जीरो इज रेड एस ऑर्बिटल दट इज अपेरिकल शेप एन इक्वल टू वन इज रेड इज पी ऑर्बिटल डेम्बल शेप एंड एन इक्वल टू टू इट इज अटल It is a double dimension. Double dimension shape. Okay. So like this, ah, this is a s orbital, p orbital, d orbital, then uh, f orbital. So we are having ah this. Thing. So that is all. You can have a values of n equal to zero, one, two, and so on. Two n minus one. Suppose n equal to four, we are going to have Four minus one, three, and then zero one two. Okay, so that is the three. N equal to what is there? One minus one, zero. Okay, so there. See, it starts from zero. Okay, so zero one two three and so. So therefore, you are having a value zero. So n equal to zero. That is what is called as s orbital, p orbital, d orbital, f orbital. You have already done that. नाइन तो कहते हैं कहते हैं लाइस पीडीएफ मार्ग पे सो देखने में तो बता अजमेर तो कौन कौन सा बस ये सेक्स आप सब्सेंट ओके द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज़ ऑफ मैग्नेटिक कॉर्डर Okay. 
So that is given by D and S. Spin quantum number. It gives the idea whether the electrons are moving in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. Whether the electrons are moving in this direction or electrons are moving in this direction. So normally they are denoted by plus half and a minus half. Okay. So movement of electron along a in its own axis, just like uh, how the Earth revolves. भूमि तरना कक्षे सुधर है तब तो आगे इलेक्ट्रॉन को कितना है तो वेदर तो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर मूविंग इन अ द सेम ऑर्बिटल सब्सटेंस इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट्स अ क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन दिस इज अ क्लॉकवाइज इट्स एंटी क्लॉकवाइज सो यार मैं आपके लिए मूव आउट आए सो दैट इज गिवन बाय प्लस ऑफ एंड अंडर म Suppose for an oxygen, the electron has to be eight electrons are there. The oxygen. I want to know what the what is the fifth electron is there. Where the fifth electron? Yau shanta is there. Yau shanta is there. Yau orientation is there. That is the direction is yau shanta is there. I all the idea got. So that is nothing but a quantum number. Okay. So this is about the quantum number. One of the very very important concept for. Example of two atoms. Chemistry student, you must know this. Okay. So we are going to how to write the electronic configuration. You already heard the tenth standard the electronic configuration. One s two, two s two, two p six. And then after that, how to write the two atoms? You have to write it. So yau shell the line. Yau shell the line. Shell the line. Then the next you will write s and p. S and p are orbital. Yau shell the line. P and P are orbital. P shape is the electrons are moving in this direction. D orbital is the male end of the It is double double shape. Okay. So then the magnetic quantum number. That is yes. P X Y Z. P X Y Z X. Yes. That is the quantum number. That is the quantum number. Okay. So these are the things of which part is the quantum numbers. Okay. Now here we came across some some more words. See, we have mentioned here it is orbital. It is orbital. Theta. What is the difference between orbit and orbital? Okay. Orbital, we know orbital. We know orbit is nothing but a circular path of an electron. Okay. And uh, where we can find the electrons? It is orbital. We know that orbital is the probability of finding electron. Ill remove one theta. No, ill exactly one theta. इल है ना सर्कुलर पाथ अलग हुआ होता है जैसे इधर इट इस सर्कुलर बट हियर इट इस अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग स्पीयर स्पीयर वाले एलिमेंट का रिलेशन होता है इले ये जैसे डेट एक्सेक्ट है ना सो दैट इस अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग इट देन इन केस ऑफ ऑर्बिट वी आर इन मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉ we are having maximum two electrons. क्या देखते हैं इस बीच में ला? Maximum two electrons in the orbital. क्या होता है इस orbital, B orbital, D orbital दले? Maximum अंदर ये रहता ही रहता है. Shell दले जाता है two electrons का. That is called as the orbit. Okay. Then uh, in case of uh, orbit, it is a circular. Whereas orbitals are spherical in both, double shape in both, double double shape in both. So the shapes of orbitals are different. Whereas the shape of an orbit is a circular. Okay. So you must know the difference between an orbit and an orbit. Orbital you know, is a shell. So maximum electron is a two-way square. In orbit shape is a circular. Whereas an orbital is a probability of finding electron. Its shapes are different, and it has maximum of two electrons. Okay, so this is about the uh, orbit and the orbit.
So next is the energy. Uh, we forget that is known for the shape of the orbitals. So S are the shape of the orbitals. First is the S R. S R. S R is having a spherical shape. Spherical shape, and then just like a ball. Circle very shape, clear very. Circle and then very very gap. Sphere is not having gap. It is a ball. Okay. It is a spherical shape, and uh, electrons are in the uh, S orbitals. Where we can find the the electrons are go. So they are at the center. As you move away, just like the spherical shape is a. This is the spherical shape. So we can find the more number of electrons here at the center. But when you move away, the electrons find it. Even if we draw the electrons from the other side, when you move away, so it is a mess. And at the certain region, we can find that the probability of or practically finding the electron is a zero. So finding the electron is zero. The region where the probability of finding electron is zero is called as a no. No. So node means what? Node is nothing but the probability of finding electron is a zero. That region is called as a. Okay. So this is the both the S R. S R is a spherical in shape. And uh, here the electrons at the centers are moved, and when they move away from the center, it is a electron density decreases. Where and uh, where the probability of finding the electron density is zero, or it is called as a no. Next is a P R. P R. P R means that my it's a having L value is a one. So therefore, uh, magnetic quantum number is a L value of three. That is minus one, zero, and plus more than that. So here P R means that it's a dumbbell shape. Dumbbell shape means what? This is a dumbbell shape. So we are in the here three p orbitals, which is a p x, p y, and a p z. They are mutually perpendicular to each other. One to one to double away. And a One P orbital means electrons are here. One orbital is like it is moving. It is moving like this in along the x-axis, along the y-axis, along the z-axis. So like that, there are three P orbitals. So we are having the minus one, zero, plus one. So we can change the number, but the on the x-axis there and the y-axis on the z-axis. So like that, the, the electrons are moving in the P orbital. Here also we are in the the probability of finding electron is a density of electron instead of seeing the probability density of electron is a very very less or zero that is called as a radial or angular or real mode. Okay, so that is also so let us take a look at the uh, shape of the orbitals. It is a p orbital, the mass shape is a p x a p y p z. There are three p orbitals. They are in the along the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. Yes, this is a three-dimensional. One is along x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay. So P X Y Z. So P X 
if i consider this is a px it is it is along the x axis and it is yavaru one x agutte one y agutte one z agutte this is the x axis then uh, this is a y axis orbitals electrons it can move back so it will move like this it will move like this and similarly one the front of the back so imagine like this okay can you see this so three dimension of position so idu enagide idu mundakke matte hindakke okay you have to imagine this idu one left and right view idu one mele matte kelu so like this a p or a sara moon okay and in case of p or this we are having here a moon sun okay what is that moon is okay. in case of p or this we are having a radial moon radial moon that is given by the formula n n and n is a principal quantum n n to minus n that is a assumed the quantum number minus a one means to substitute for a any value of n or n you can write a radial and it is applicable for p or by p or the such thing yes or no because l is zero okay. and one more mode is there radial mode and angular mode angular mode So angular mode is given by the symbol of that the it value is a L. So therefore, what is about the total modes? Total modes for the order. Total mode equal to that is a radial mode or the angular mode. Angular mode plus radial. Mode. So that's equal. Angular mode is n plus radial mode is n minus n minus one plus n minus n cancels. So that is the total. Total mode for a orbitals that is the n minus one. Okay. So this is a what about the p orbitals? Next let us go for the b orbitals. In case of the orbital, it is a double double shape. The orbitals are being cut down. L value is equal to two here. So L value two is there. I know L equal to two. Therefore, magnetic quantum number equal to minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two. Okay. So now these are denoted as line one. So we are having a d x y, d y z, d z x, d x square minus y square, d z square. So these are the d orbitals. Follow the d orbitals. Okay. So now what about the these three? They are also perpendicular to each other. Okay. And double double shape. Shape of this one. Double double. Double double shape. All they are in the same type, and energy is also same. Only the the Z span is in the uh, downward shape. Okay, last the Z span. So what about the orbitals? So here d x y d y z d z x. Here it is shaped. It is see. It is the axis. X axis and y axis. X axis and y axis. In between x and y axis, the orbitals are there. So that is called as the d x y. If x axis and y axis are in the middle, that is the d x y. Otherly, y one is the 
diagonal is there. Suppose if I consider in this direction, e to one. Okay. Now it is in between now y and z. Y and z are the same. So you can't see that. He throws it can't. He is it can't. Three dimension picture you have to imagine. Okay. So it is a nothing but in between now y and z. Y axis is the z axis is there. Z axis, z z axis is there. Z axis is the x axis. Means that you are the c is not along the x. It's in between. इधर लाइन ना काटते हैं ना कटी काटते हैं दिस इन एक्सिस इट इस इन बिटवीन दें ऑल दिस थ्री व्हाट अबाउट द डी एक्सिस पर माइनस वाइस पर इट इस अलोंग द एक्सिस दिस इस अब डी एक्सिस पर माइनस वाइस पर डबल डबल इधर डबल डबल डी एक्सिस पर माइनस वाइस एंड व्हाट अबाउट द डी एक्सिस पर dz square is up like this it is along the z axis and up uh, down at one the unit is the like circle type so that is the dz square shape of a dz square which is a z axis this is the shape of dz square so this is about the five d all this yeah what this is a complicated okay that is not for our senior okay so these are the shape of the orbital so we have discussed about the four quantum numbers so what are the importance or significance of those four quantum numbers then what is the difference between orbit and a orbital then now what are the shapes of the orbitals okay so that we have studied In the next class, let us look on the, the energy of the orbitals and uh, how the electrons are distributed in the atom. So that completes the chapter here. So electrons how they distribute are there. So we all are going to go through that. Okay, let us look at the first part. What are the rules they follow and uh, how the electrons are distributed? So that we can study in the next class. Okay, thank you.